Yo, it's good, y'all boys. It's Dub Man. Today we're coming at you with another reaction video. Today we're added to this is why LeBron James would never pass Michael Jordan. Look, bro, they panicking. Y'all is y'all, bro. Y'all panicking, bro. All I'm hearing is LeBron is not the goat. LeBron is not that. Y'all panicking. Y'all panicking. Y'all know for a fact. Once he passed Kareem, and he continued to do more good things in the NBA, bro. ESPN. The NBA, they're going to crown this man, bro. They're going to say he's the GOAT. It's going to be three or four people probably, like uh, talk show hosts, that's going to say Michael Jordan's still the GOAT. But, bro, I'm telling you, y'all panicking. Y'all just pick, bro. Y'all, ooh, and I love it. I love it. But, man, I'm ready to get into this. If you ask me, he banned past, like, he, I don't even know why we're still having these conversations. He banned past Michael Jordan. But, man, uh, I'm ready to get into this, man. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dub. But yeah, man. At this point in the NBA season, every fan knows the LA Lakers are a complete dumpster fire and the jester of the NBA. And their latest debacle on the court came in a matchup versus the Boston Celtics. I can't believe LeBron can't believe that wasn't James a foul. Drove to the basket, can't believe was it. fouled, and there was no call. Can't believe it. This non-call right here was one of the worst I've ever seen. Facts. As a blatant foul by Tatum hitting LeBron's hand. And if that call was made, LA most likely wins that game in a big time televised matchup. They would have won. Now, getting past that as a leader and as an NBA legend, there's two ways you can react to this. You can be pissed, rightfully so. You should get the refs, head to the bench, and get ready for OT and win those next five minutes. Or option two, do what LeBron did jump up and down, roll on the floor, strike a Tebow pose. Bro, oh my! I should have known it's this one. Is this, bro, bro, that's how I know you never played basketball. Bro, if you're going to win a game and you get fouled and the ref doesn't call it and he's right there, you're telling me you're just going to be like, what? You didn't see that call and then go to the bench and then not say nothing? Knowing that your team already suck and you need these wins? And you just, bro, this is how I know y'all never played basketball. He's a crybaby because he, boy, this is how I know y'all never played basketball. This is how I know y'all not serious about the game. How are you gonna say he overreacted? Is you serious? Bro, y'all, boy. Y'all be losing me. Y'all are losing me. See, y'all not passionate, bro. Not passionate about the game. That's crazy. Head to the bench, soak some more, then put a towel on your head in complete silence. Bro, that's For crazy. LeBron James. If, if, bro, if this, if this is the fourth time this is the fourth time, like, late games that they didn't get a call to win. And they need the wins. You wouldn't be mad? Bro, y'all, bro. Y'all like a Mount Rushmore bro. NBA player who is 38 years old. This reaction was absolutely embarrassing. What the? And as you guys bro. know, anything LeBron James does is always compared to Michael Jordan. And in this moment, a lot of NBA fans said Michael Jordan would never do this. We don't and care what Jordan true, would do. It's also true MJ in his career. He was ejected. This is how you know LeBron is the GOAT. Y'all keep y'all keep trying to compare Michael Jordan to every little thing. If he's your GOAT, why do you keep comparing LeBron to him? You can never answer that. He got never answer that. And then you're going to continue to compare LeBron to Michael Jordan. LeBron missed a uh, three to tie the game or something. Oh, it could be Michael Jordan. You keep doing it because you know deep down it's up. Okay. And complain a lot. And when it came to social media, a lot of fans brought the evidence of Jordan complaining about awful calls from the 80s, 90s, bro, every and even bro, 2000s. Every player has complained. Now, with that being said, when it comes to Jordan, not once in his career did he roll on the floor for five minutes, make a fool of himself, and then How did he roll on the Lose in overtime. And actually for Jordan's career, there was one similar incident where a bad call could have sent MJ over the edge and ruined a great game and a great season. This moment was the 98 Eastern. He Conference really final made a first. he really made a video about LeBron because he got it because he didn't get the foul. The Pacers Just think about that. In game four, he's panicking. Up to he one. knows LeBron is better. Now, he's stage, panicking. Late in this game, and I guarantee when LeBron passed Kareem, he's gonna have a video. Or by one point, he's gonna have a video. Miller, hit this iconic jump shot to give Indiana a late lead. And as I noticed on this play, Reggie Miller absolutely shoves Jordan out of the way and there was no foul call. 
And unlike LeBron James in his playoff game, Michael Jordan didn't overreact, go ballistic, and pout and whine. I'm not trying to hear that. If Reggie Miller would have tried to bam, like, boom into LeBron, Reggie Miller would have failed. Stop that. And compared to LeBron's situation, Jordan in this situation should have been more outraged even when it was a playoff game. Bro, this is East crazy. Like, you now, really I've made a video because he got fouled Jordan late game. game come back and, and he was passionate about the game. Points, crazy. 60% shooting. He really made a whole video about that. Points. And look at the final three games of that series. MJ was classic MJ. Averaging 30.7 points. Yeah, he was he was classic MJ after um, Larry Bird. Like. 38 and 77 splits. Looking at his best teammate in those three games, we had Scottie Pippen averaging 19 points on 39% shooting. And Dennis Rodman only averaged three points on 36% shooting and was benched the final three games of the series. I'm trying to say that. And I'm to trying to say that. Everybody knows they did not get Dennis Rodman to score. Please stop that. Trying to make point, it seem Jordan, like he's doing it himself. He was 35. Chicago was the oldest team in the league. And by being Indiana, he made a six finals in eight years or would go on to win the championship. The overall point of bringing this up is to once again contrast Jordan versus LeBron and how they handle adversity. And once again for Jordan, that shove by Reggie was 10 times more egregious than the foul by Tatum. What the f Yeah, he's riding, bro. I'm not even gonna pause him, I just wanna get this over team, with. I'm sorry, I'm tired of the excuses. As you had Darvin Ham heavily implying this one game has derailed their season. When in reality, LA has been garbage the entire year, and this one play does not impact 81 other games. And one more point I do want to make, when it comes to NBA superstars, in any era, they have always complained. But looking at 2023, the complaining is getting way out of hand. From guys like LeBron James, James Harden, especially Luka, and even someone like Anthony Davis. So this and is how I know I people never viral, play basketball. Was referee talking to Jordan. You can't complain interviews. because you're not getting calls. calls and overturning. What the? Hands to the toe. Michael, I didn't see your hands on him, Michael. But I believe you. They're riding Michael. They're on this man. They want him to be his. They want to be his friend. But I believe you. I saw one. I saw only saw the one hand on. Him. Now looking at this clip with no context, it seems pretty bad, and like the referees were favoring Jordan. But in reality, this was Jordan's last ever game in the NBA. What that does that have to do? Just because he did it in the last game, what makes you think he'd do it the first? Bro, see, y'all have every, joking, bro. And the foul was not overturned in favor of Jordan. Y'all have every excuse. Comparing space, that man. clip of Jordan on the Wizards to LeBron James throwing a tantrum is like comparing apples to coconuts. And it's once again a case of LeBron James fans making a false equivalency. And speaking of Jordan on the Wizards, those last couple years are highly underrated, in my personal opinion. He's and not better. Much team if you say, if you say Michael Jordan was better than LeBron on the Wizards, bro, I'm done with this video. Jordan individually, I promise you. was still pretty good at age 38, okay. 39, and even 40. Okay. And compared to LeBron James, despite the gaudy stats averaging 30, when it comes down to it, winning basketball games is all that matters. And Jordan in Washington at age 38 simply won more. As the Wizards went 37 and 45, were the ninth seed, and today's in is the game, bro. What? They went 37. Bro, the Lakers are 26, 27 or something. You telling me they're not gonna get a 37 record? NBA would have been in a playing tournament. And looking at Washington when Jordan played, their record was actually better. Going 30 and 30 which would have been on pace to grab the eight seed. And looking at the overall stats and numbers, Jordan that year led his team in scoring, assists, and steals. Let him say he was better than LeBron. Being pretty lackluster. And compared to LeBron James, for the, his help in LA, yes, the last two seasons have been inexcusable. With Anthony Davis, Westbrook, Carmelo, Dwight Howard, Lonnie Walker, Malik Monk, and even Rondo. Rondo? Rondo wasn't on the team since, see, now nah, he, <laughs> what the, AD wasn't hurt. Despite all that teammate help and Hall of Fame talent, LeBron still is on pace to miss the playoffs for two straight years. 
And as it stands right now, they are currently 13th in the West and one of the top five worst teams in the entire NBA. And going full circle with this video, looking at Jordan back in 98 with that awful no call versus the Pacers, that did not. All right, bro. I can tell this man never played basketball again in his life. So you get fouled. They got fouled like four times late, like late games, different teams never got a call. But the fact that LeBron did something, he's overreacting. Bro, you're a grown man. You shouldn't be doing that. If you're passionate about the game, keep it inside. You shouldn't be mad because you didn't get the call, bro. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You, you, you need to just get back. But, man, you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Uh, don't forget to follow my Instagram. And yeah, I'm out.